Hi guys, Sony Dubs here, and today I'm doing a video review on the one more dual driver Bluetooth active noise cancellation headphones, or shall I say earphones. Um, now, these in ear earphones come in at around £125 in the UK, in the US they're around $150. In terms of its competitors, two of which that I can think of um, are Urbanista's uh, Milan, which are around £120, and JBL Everest Elite uh, 150NC that came in, come in at around £180. Those are two um, competitors which also offer a neckband and active noise cancellation in ears. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first, in terms of its box and what you get in the box itself, uh, as you can, uh, as you can probably hear, I've opened it. Um, it might be pretty obvious because the earphones are around my neck. Nevertheless, uh, there's a quite nice selection of um, ear tips. Uh, there's also some ear secure, so as in like little um, fins that sit within your ears as well, and a variety of silicon tips. There's no foam tips um, out on show over here. There's a small little carrying pouch which is useful. A little airplane adapter which is again useful for um, your flights. Um, and then what's quite interesting, other than a charging cable, is a USB-C to 3.5mm jack. Now you might be wondering, why on earth would you ever want that? Well, it's quite simple. The earphones themselves, as in the neckband itself, has a USB-C port, which with my nails which have been cut, would be quite hard to open. But nevertheless, there's a USB-C port over here. Not only is this used for charging, but you can also use it directly in terms of a wire. Now you might be wondering, why on earth would you want that? Well, simply put, if you're on a plane and you want to be listening to the music uh, that the uh, airline provides, especially with a little, uh, little adapter like this, that's, that's an airplane adapter, then you can do so. Most earphones, as in the ones I mentioned in terms of its competitors, do not offer this. Um, and it's actually quite a nice feature to have, uh, to have your active noise cancellation still running, but then plugged in via 3.5mm um, uh, source. I should point out, however, these, uh, these earphones will need to be switched on whilst being used. So unfortunately you can't uh, conserve battery by, by plugging in that uh, cable and use them almost like wired earphones. Uh, however, it does mean that Bluetooth will be disabled. Um, I tried it with my phone, I had Bluetooth enabled on my phone, and in this, uh, essentially as soon as I plugged it in, uh, it would disable the Bluetooth. So it's a pretty cool feature and one that I can see where one more are coming at. Uh, they're using it to sort of market towards people who are going to be on the go or especially people who are in, on the plane. For your average commute, so let's say you're on a train or whatever have you, it's going to be pretty pointless to use that a wired um, connection. Now in terms of wireless connection, I, I must say I'm very impressed. Uh, it uses uh, Bluetooth, however it does uh, limit itself to the SBC codec, so it's the lowest uh, codec it could use. There's no LDAC support like the triple driver earphones that uh, one more produce. Uh, there's no aptX or aptX HD or AAC even if you're on an Apple or iOS uh, user. So you're limited to SBC which does limit its sound quality and I'll, I'll get onto the sound quality traits in a bit. In terms of the neckband itself, um, it's well designed I must say. Um, I've no problems with it. It's relatively lightweight um, and does sit around your, your head. I'm not a big fan of neckband earphones. Uh, simply because of their design. They're not as portable as your, your wireless in-ears. You can fold this up as much as you can, so like so, um, but it's still going to be rather bulky and wanting to spring out uh, in your pocket, so bear that in mind. Um, the earphones themselves have a nice little feature that they've got little magnets over here. It's pretty simple, but it does mean that it's a little bit more tidy when it's sitting around your, your, your neck. Um, and then the earphones obviously plug into your ears like so, and you can see you've got a little wire dangling in between uh, the neckband and the earphones. Within the inner bit of the earphones you've got a right and left indicator, pretty simple to see. If that wasn't obvious enough you'll notice that on the left hand um, side of the neckband you've got a set of controls. You've got a play pause a button, you've got a plus and minus for your volume. The play and pause button also doubles up as previous and next in terms of music, double tap or triple tap. You've got the on and off button which is pretty self-explanatory. Then you've got a little slider. Now the slider has um, three, uh, three separate functions. The first function, uh, or four separate functions, the first function is everything disabled. The, the slider, if you slide it towards you, uh, enables ambient sound, so you can hear sounds around you. If you slide it forwards, it enables level 1 ANC, and then uh, slide it forwards again, and you hear like boop boop sort of sound in your ear, will uh, enable the level 2 ANC. 
Essentially, the active noise cancellation feature is depending on the environment you're in. Uh, ANC1 is suggested for planes, ANC2 is suggested for all types of different environments as well. It, it really depends in terms of the, the sound that you hear. For me, I found ANC level 2 was the best sort of uh, noise isolation that I got uh, from the outside world. Now speaking of its active noise cancellation feature, I must say I was very impressed with the One More earphones. They actually do cancel out a lot of sounds. Let alone from their passive noise isolation in terms of the overall size of the earphones themselves and in terms of how much sound they will actually block out while being in your ears with the correct tip. Um, but in terms of active noise cancellation, I must say I was very impressed. Um, it's among the best um, active noise cancellation earphones I've come across. Now bear in mind, earphones can cancel out sound, but passively they're not going to cancel out as much sound as over-the-ear headphones. So bear that in mind. Um, if you're looking at active noise cancellation at earphones or headphones. Now in this respect I must say I've got no complaints. Obviously they're not going to compare to over-the-ear headphones or even on-ear headphones but still for in-ear earphones I must say among the best active noise cancellation I've heard uh, to date and that's pretty high praise coming from me. But now let's move on to the sound quality which is very important um, as someone who loves listening to music on the go. I must say I was a little bit disappointed. Now these use a dual driver design, it's a dual balanced armature uh, design in each ear, uh, which might seem pretty tempting in comparison to some of its competitors that use a single driver. However, the dual balanced armature drivers don't really reproduce a really fun and um, open sound as much as you'd want. Um, it, speaking about the low end, uh, to, to start with, the sub bass is somewhat cut off and not really extended. The mid bass has good uh, quality but not much quantity, um, there's not much of an impact that you'll hear when it comes to the mid bass tones. The mids are recessed and even though they're balanced armature drivers I would expect forward sounding mids, that was not the case, they sound very much recessed and pushed back. The upper mids have a, some weird, not a spike but kind of a dip, um, you can hear a sort of dip in the, the upper mids meaning there's even less sort of excitement when you come to hearing them. And the highs are rolled off at the top end which means that you don't get that sort of toe tapping, woohoo, I really want to listen to these earphones, which you'd get with the triple drivers uh, or um, some of its competitors that provide a better high-end extension. In terms of sound stage as well, it's pretty close sounding, it's not really airy, uh, and instrument separation is average, it's not great, but neither is it, um, neither is it bad, so it kind of sits in the middle. For dual driver um, earphones, it's to be expected, but at this price range I would expect a little bit more, especially when you compare to non-active noise cancellation earphones or when you compare them to over-the-ear active noise cancellation um, headphones. So I know I'm comparing not you know like for like, but you still have to consider what you get for your money. And for around 120 to 130 pounds, it's worth bearing in mind there's other options out there. So ultimately, in terms of sound quality, I think it's kind of let down because it's active noise cancellation, it's, it's features, the things that you get in the box are very impressive. Um, and the way that one more thought about, say, the, the wired alternative, like if you're on a plane, is very, very clever. I mean, it's, it's com like comprehensive, like they've thought about every sort of scenario you might use these active noise cancellation earphones. And given people would usually buy them for the airplane, it kind of makes sense but they're just let down by its sound quality. I just wish these earphones came in the triple driver variant, uh, so you had a triple driver earphones sort of sound, but then with all of these features, and suddenly you'd have a fantastic package. So I can't say I would recommend them, neither can I say I, I would absolutely avoid them, because in comparison to its competitors, it does offer something different. However, in my suggestion, I would suggest over-the-ear headphones for active noise cancellation, or if you want in-ears that have the same similar, similar design, Consider the uh, triple driver earphones from One More, which even then are not my go-to earphones because I just don't like this neckband design, but still are ones I would recommend over these dual driver uh, earphones. And yes, I know they don't have active noise cancellation, but it's something that you should live with. If really you want a neckband design, active noise cancellation, and you want earphones, and you want an earphone that's very much well designed, then sure, the, the dual driver one, there's nothing really that competes with it. If you want something that's a bit more fun sounding, I'll get the, um, the uh, JBL uh, instead. And if you're on a budget, I'll get the Urbanistas uh, instead. They just provide much better sound, but arguably won't provide as much better noise cancelling as these ones. So there we go, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this review. If you have, make sure you give it a like, comment, subscribe. And because I can't be bothered to edit, I'm going to end this video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.